senior prosecutors, Jiba Mrebi Shamila Batoi, has moved into her post as the new National uh, Director of Public Prosecutions. And uh, many would say a lot on her plate, uh, very heavy. We're joined uh, now by advocate Paul Hoffman from Accountability Now to discuss further. Uh, Mr. Hoffman, before we even look at uh, Shamila Batohi, I want to ask you about the news that came in uh, before we went on air tonight, that the entire PIC board has now requested uh, the finance minister to release them. They're looking at another inquiry into the PIC saying uh, what's coming out is implicating directors and it seems like a targeted attack. Your comments? Yes, it, it would appear. Good, good evening, Francis, and to your viewers as well. It would appear that there's been a mass resignation on the uh, board or of the entire board of the PIC as a consequence of what has been emerging at the uh, Commission of Inquiry into the PIC, which is being chaired by a former um, a, a judge president in the Supreme Court Selection Party. The, um, the accountability of that board is probably best served by the resignations. This is more evidence of uh, state capture by using uh, money that belongs to civil service pensioners in order to achieve a political uh, advantage and not to get a better return on the investment of that pension money. So I'm, I'm not at all surprised that the uh, events in that commission of inquiry and perhaps also in, in Zondo and uh, in the... Mahora uh, Commission of Inquiry have got the members of the board running scared, feeling responsible for all that has gone wrong with investments that are not designed to get a proper investment return, but are actually intended to serve some ulterior political motive, uh, such as the capture of the free media uh, for the, the purposes of uh, pr promoting the interests of a single um, political party. So are you suggesting that they've been caught out, uh, these board members, and now they're running scared? Yes, I think that the, 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 the evidence that has emerged, very credible evidence from young professional people, uh, is, is suggesting that that board was not doing what it should have been doing. It was, being doing, it, it was doing what it was being told to do to advance the political interests of those well-connected, the, uh, the uh, ANC leadership. And uh, I think particularly in relation to the, um, um, the transactions involving Iqbal Survey and independent newspapers, which uh, is, is neither independent nor newspaper anymore. All right, uh, well, we'll follow that story. They say they will be in place until the finance minister appoints a new board. They've asked to be released. Let's look at uh, Shamila Batohi now, and she's no stranger to uh, national prosecution, uh, the National Prosecuting Authority. She has been detached for a few years at the ICC, the International Criminal Court, um, maybe not tainted by the last few years. Do you think that that has actually put her in a stronger position? Yes, I think that uh, the fact that Shabila Batoy does not have a Zuma presidency baggage is certainly a, a factor in her favor. But we must remember that she is but a civil servant, a very special civil servant, uh, one, the only civil servant who can create uh, policy. The Constitution says that it is the uh, responsibility of our National Director of Public Prosecutions to, to formulate uh, and enforce prosecution policy in consultation with the minister and after consultation with her uh, directors of public prosecutions. And that really is her, her main job uh, besides um, reviewing decisions to prosecute and not to prosecute. So to expect her to turn the tide of corruption and to prevent uh, impunity um, all on her own is, is probably too big an ask. I was encouraged by the Minister uh, of Justice at the um, uh, press uh, conference today saying that the capacity uh, of the NPA would be, be looked at.
because clearly what has gone wrong in the NPA can be traced back to the decision taken right at the beginning of the Zuma era uh, to close down the Scorpions, or uh, their proper name is the Directorate of Special Investigations. The NPA has been crippled ever since then because it no longer has any investigative capacity. It has to rely on the hawks or the police to do investigative work for it, whereas when the Scorpions, who were part of the NPA, were on on duty, they were able, um, in conjunction with prosecutors, and as part of the NPA, a properly independent, uh, in theory anyway, um, institution, they were able to uh, investigate with a view to securing successful prosecutions. So I think without that investigative capacity, Shamila Patoy is going to have a very difficult job and they're going to have to look at restructuring um, and uh, upgrading the operations of the NPA. All right, so she can only work with what she's got and we can't expect the world from her, but what should she be looking at first? I think that if she does not tackle grand corruption first, if she does not get herself in a position where uh, Jacob Zuma and uh, uh, Michael Masuta are prosecuted for what they did to her predecessor, but one, Mr. Impasana, who was uh, induced to get into a uh, I will go away for 17 million rand deal. If they don't go after that case, if they don't go after the Encampla debacle, if they don't go after Becky Chele for his famous leases with the police headquarters in Pretoria and Durban, all of those are matters involving corruption. They are matters concerning people from the Zuma era in high places. If those prosecutions don't take place first, then the public will know that the uh, president's assurances of the independence of the NPA are hollow and that uh, Shamila Batoy has not been given sufficient opportunity to really do what she says she wants to do, which is to end the, the culture of impunity. The best thing that can be done now is for the uh, structure and operations of our anti-corruption machinery of state to be reviewed. Accountability now has long been uh, punting the idea that the whole business of grand corruption, state capture and kleptocracy, which means uh, theft from the poor by the powerful, all of those need to be dealt with by a specialized integrity commission which looks after the, 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 the serious corruption in this country from the point of view of preventing it, combating it, investigating it, and prosecuting it. So it it would be what the Constitutional Court asked for in the litigation around the Hawks and the Scorpions, a one-stop shop where the good people in the police and the NPA can be combined into a new institution that really does have a good chance of getting going against corruption. To try and do it through this crippled NPA is not going to work. Okay, so so restructuring, we're running out of time. I want to ask you, I mean, surely if they don't go, there will be a problem for her. Uh, But given what's coming out at the Makoro inquiry, do you think that Advocate Ajiba and Lawrence Murebi will be gone? Yeah, they they are uh, dead people walking at the moment. It's very clear that um, what the courts have been saying about them for years, which is that they are incompetent, and they're probably more than incompetent, but if they're incompetent, they don't belong there. And I'm surprised that they've got the cheek to continue to waste taxpayers' money defending themselves. All right, thank you very much for your time. That was Advocate Paul Hoffman, Director of Accountability Now.